is Gmod Funnies? Well, it depends on who you ask. Some would say it's an attempt to fuse SMG4 with Splatoon, before SMG4 did that like a year later. Others would say it's just another Splatoon Gmod series in the sea of other Splatoon YouTubers that have mixed to bad reputations. And several would say it's a great series, but its last episode was in 2018, and they're still waiting for Doki Doki Yandere Panic Part 2. Guys, please, it's almost done. Just please stop asking me for it. But to me, the first season of Gmod Funnies just sort of felt like a training course. Nowadays, my animation is probably the best it ever has been. There's a lot more emotion involved, the characters have better lip sync. Hell, just last year I've experimented with 2D movement and expressions, and it has worked wonders for me. But what equally makes this sad is that as a result of this, my best work isn't even Gmod Funnies at all. And considering that 2020 was my slowest upload year to date, which I'm sure we all know why that is, I think it's time I step up my game and make this series into something I'm actually truly proud of. But of course, I can't do that alone. Hi, my name is Jacob C. Robertson, JCR for short, and this is Gmod Funny Season 2. Hello, it's me, Mario! <laughs> Can someone help me? I can't find my balls. Now I know what you're going to say. Wait, Season 2? What happened to Season 1? It's over there in the corner thinking about its existence. So, uh, let me ask you this. Have you ever made something back in high school that was pretty good at the time, then you look back on it, and realize it's sh- I guess I shouldn't be too hard on myself considering I was just starting out at the time, but son of a double-edged sword gun, I cannot look back at my old videos from 2016 and early 2017 without wanting to puke. Yeah, the first half of season one was definitely my weakest work. I would definitely say that the second season, while well, still not great, definitely helped shape the plot of the series as a whole. Mario's girlfriend got killed off, they try to bring her back to life only to realize that she turned evil, then he finds another girlfriend who is a Yandere Mario fanatic. I didn't say it was the best plot. Now I know that doesn't sound like the right kind of plot for a series called Gmod Funnies. I mean, a critically depressed Mario with an overly jealous Luigi, a psychopathic girlfriend, and an evil ex. What's so funny about that? But there are several things I want you to keep in mind. First of all, this is all in the past, and my writing abilities have certainly improved since then. Secondly, Season 1 isn't over just yet. I'm still working on the season finale as we speak, and most importantly, despite all this, uh, lore, I guess, it's still 95% comedy through and through. In fact, I want to update my channel's sense of humor in general. See, ever since the introduction of Cuphead and Bendy, I've been a massive fan of old-school cartoons. I mean, I did grow up with a lot of Woody Woodpeckers, so I guess it's kind of a given, but after becoming a fan of other cartoons like Animaniacs and Water Over Yonder, I really want to put the funny back in Gmod Funnies. Yeah, you see what I did there? Yeah, I did not realize how long I was rambling, but let's get down to the point, shall we? In the description of this video is a casting call page for Season 2. Why do you keep asking for help? Don't you already have a team? Now, obviously this may not imply to you if you got the link to this video from the casting call, because yes, I am using this as an explainer video. But the point I'm trying to make here is, yes, while I do have a team that's comprised of these lovely people, we're going to need more than that to get this season off the ground. For one thing, we're going to need more voice actors, because have you heard the quality of this new mic? I didn't realize it was this bad before I started recording. But, uh, we're not gonna get by with a million voice actors. We need more. Music composers, episode writers, both voice and animation directors. And hey, if voice acting is your only strong suit, we got you covered. I mean, just look at all these characters available to voice. It's absolutely amazing. Cringe, depending on how you look at it. So what are you waiting for? Both fans and newcomers alike, step right up and help a man make a Gmod cartoon more complex than a TF2 animation. And possibly get a job if you're looking for work. You're welcome. <sighs> Finally managed to get that out of the way. Now then, what's next on the back burner? Ah, son of a bitch. Hey there, ain't got any talents but got cash? Well, this little bunny boy just so happens to have a Patreon. It'll probably be in the description instead of the end card because YouTube is weird like that. We can't all be partners, you know. 